This week, Mayor Brandon Scott signing a $4.4 billion budget for 2024, and it includes more than $405 million for city schools, $800,000 in additional funding for rec centers. This morning, Adam Angieski, CEO of OpenTheBooks.com, is crunching the numbers for us. Adam, good morning. Did anything surprise you in this budget? Yeah, I think, you know, those are the two victories that the mayor touts. But remember back in 2020, the voters right there in Baltimore, they pushed through a charter amendment weakening the strong mayor position in the city, giving more power to the city council. This was the first budget subject to that amendment where the city council could move money around in the mayor's budget. And here's the... Here's the end result. It was a weak city council. They moved around $12 million off $4.4 billion. It was less than a quarter of 1%. So if you don't like the spending priorities here, it goes right back on the city council president, Nick Mosby. He wasn't strong enough to take on the mayor. How does this compare to other years? Is this kind of how this falls? So, look, the, the good news here on this budget is it was balanced. There's no new taxes and... Uh, you know, but critics will say that it spends so much money and it uses revenue streams that aren't reoccurring that will necessitate taxes in the future. So, look, you've got two priorities that we take a look at, and that is public safety. And there's a 2.5 increase in police department budget, but that doesn't come from the city. City funding of the police is flat in this budget. It comes from state and federal sources. We've identified at OpenTheBooks.com that the head counts of the police officers in Baltimore are down by over 500 officers over the course of the last decade. And with homicides spiking and crime on the rise, with this budget, there's really going to be no change in public safety. The second thing that we look at is trash pickup. Citizens are paying for 52 weeks of, for right. instance, recycling. They're only getting 26 weeks. And we're still out in the mayor's budget here, even though they increase the recycling crews from 10 to 20. They need 30 new trucks. We're still out probably nine months before you get 52 weeks of recycling trash pickup. Adam, what you're saying seems very concerning. We're seeing top leaders here in the city seeming happy with the negotiations. Something doesn't seem to be adding up. What are we missing? Yeah, exactly. Uh, look, I, I, you know, there's an election in 2024, so the city leaders are going to have to make their arguments. But if you're a resident, you need a city that works. You need to feel safe in your home, and that's police presence. And the mayor, you know, when he was the city council, he convinced the then mayor to cut $22 million from the police budget. It's really never recovered off of those levels. And you mentioned possible uh, tax increases in the future that this could necessitate. Uh, we appreciate you weighing in. I know we'll be talking about this more in the future. Thanks, Adam. Thank you.